All right, Cody, you go in the kitchen and eat your Chick-fil-A. I'll go get your father. Huh, whose pants are these? Uh, Tyrone, Tyrone, we got your Chick-fil-A. Ty Tyrone, Tyrone, I'm home with your chicken. Wait, Tyrone, where are you? Ooh, ooh, I, ooh, 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 damn, baby. What, Tyrone? What? <laughs> Tyrone! <laughs> Children, what are you doing home somewhere early? I thought you had to go to work. Tyrone, I left for Chick-fil-A 15 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago? Damn, I'm lasting long this time. <laughs> what, Tyrone, who's underneath these covers? Oh, there's nobody underneath these covers, baby. I'm the only person in this bed. I know there's someone underneath these covers. Baby, would I lie to you? Tyrone. Yeah, I would. Tyrone, who is this? Uh, baby, that's just Boo Keisha. Uh, you, you know I've been having them back problems and, uh, sleeping problems and stuff. So, uh, I found out Boo Keisha was a doctor, and then I just invited her over here to watch me sleep. That's all. Well, then why is she wearing handcuffs? Cause I'm kinky. No, 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 she ain't, baby. No, she ain't. I saw her breaking into the house, so I had her handcuffed. And then, uh, you, you know, she told, she told, she told me she was a doctor. I told you that a minute ago. So I just invited her in the house, and, you know, she watched me sleep. Why isn't she wearing any clothes, Tyrone? Now, babies, don't sit here and lie to me. She got a t-shirt on. No, Tyrone, I mean, why isn't she wearing pants? Now, baby, you know I can't sleep in the same bed with somebody that's wearing pants. Tyrone, you've given me that excuse before. You did that with your stepsister and, and, and the pizza delivery woman and the mail lady, and you even said that to your ex-wife when she caught me and you in bed together. Man, I need to come up with a better excuse. That's it, Tyrone. I'm tired of you cheating on me. I want a divorce. Oh, baby, come on. Give her another chance. She deaf. Bitch, I ain't deaf. You look, look, see, she can't even talk now. No, Tyrone, I'm leaving you. I'm done. But baby, can you turn on the fan, please? It's hot as hell. What? Who the hell is this? Tyrone, get your ass in here. What do you want, baby? You know I'm trying to finish. Who is this? Oh, that, that must be a Girl Scout selling Girl Scout cookies. Then what is she doing on our couch? Um, she must be waiting on money, so pay up. Tyrone, did you have a daughter with that other woman? Yes, baby. Look, it was an accident, though. We were eating at a restaurant. She started choking. I did the Hamlet maneuver, and it just slipped in. You know what I say. My favorite dinner course is dinner course. <laughs> I've heard it all before, Tyrone. You had a daughter with another woman. Look, you know, you never liked any of the other kids I ever had with other women. Tyrone, you have a cheating problem. Look, it's not a problem. Look, I never cheated. I only cheated on in Uno one time. Tyrone, I'm divorcing you this time. Wait, wait, for real? Yes, for real. For real, for real? For real, for real, for real. I'm leaving you. Wait, no, do we notice nothing? Damn, I don't even feel like finishing no more. Dear Cody, your father and I are getting a divorce. Mom, you say that all the time. I'm serious this time. Whatever. All right, so you two are filing for divorce, is that correct? Yes, he cheated on me multiple times. Oh, baby, you can't be serious about this divorce. I am, Tyrone. I'm tired of you cheating on me. But, baby, look at this. Do you eat the same food every day? No. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Your taste buds will get tired of it. Sometimes you need something different. Look, you my main dish, baby. You my steak. But sometimes you just need a side dish. Maybe some corn. Maybe some mashed potatoes. Booty. You know, vegetables. I'm tired of your excuses, Tyrone. We want this divorce. Laura, well, the lady wants to divorce us. One moment, please. My spooky phone's ringing. Don't you dare hang up. Any fucking way. All right, guys, right here. Uh, Tyrone, you're going to sign right here on the husband spot. Okay. And uh, Nut Mrs. Nutkiss, I'm going to need you to sign down here. But uh, I don't have a pen. Oh. Have a sharpie, so it makes things more permanent. Okay, Cody, me and your daddy are officially divorced. It's over. But we can't afford to move out just yet, so we're gonna have to live here with daddy and his new family. So, Bukisha, get in here. Jody, what you want? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Cody, this is Bukisha, the home wrecker. You remember the whore I told you about? Jody, if you got something to say, why don't you just say it in my face? Bukisha, this is my son, Cody. He's a homosexual. Oh, hey, Cody, little gay boy. Here, shake my hand. Yeah, it's me, little, little gay boy. Mm -hmm. Co Co Cody, wash your hands. Anyway, Cody, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Boo Keisha. It rhymes with Woo Keisha, but Woo Keisha is my sister and your auntie, okay? And I'm going to be the best stepmama you ever did have. But not better than your real mommy, which is me. She's your fake mommy. Her hair isn't even real. She's bald under that. It's called a weave. You freak. 
I'll have you know, this bitch cost me $9.95 at the Kmart. And you just mad because your real hair having ass on top of your head couldn't keep your man. Everybody knows that white chocolate is the best chocolate, and I have a whole lot of that. Oh, okay, but I guess your man be liking the dark chocolate because he was giving it to me good last night and I was giving me some pipe. Listen here, bitch. If you want to throw dukes, we can throw dukes. I went to high school in Compton and I'll have you know I slept with the whole football team. Oh, okay. Well, let me tell you some shit. I once left a kid in a hot car and that motherfucker died. And, and his ass, oh, that, that's some Compton ass right there. Yeah. Well, Cody, where you going? I'm going to my room so I don't have to be around this terrible family anymore. Oh, did you see a new mama? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's thick, ain't it? Well, I wouldn't exactly call her thick. She's just kind of skinny, really. Well, she a freak, ain't it? Well, Dad, I, I, I really wouldn't know your definition of freak. Well, take my word for it, Cody. She is a freak. I was laying that pipe all night. <laughs> okay, Dad. Uh, you might want to spend less time talking about laying pipe and more time breaking up the fight in the living room. Oh, come on, Judy! <sighs> Yeah, I can't believe my life. What? Who are you? Oh, hey, Cody! What the hell? Mom, get in here! What's the matter, Cody? Who is this? Oh, that's your stepsister, Sprinkle. Sprinkle? Yeah, my mama named me Sprinkle, because when I was born, she said I looked like a little chocolate sprinkle. Mom, what is she doing in here? Didn't she see the sign? No girls allowed. Well, I'm sorry, Cody, but you and Sprinkle are just going to have to share a room. Uh, no, I'm going to go stay at Junior's house. Uh, Cody, if you go into Junior's house, could you take Sprinkle with you? I don't want her to see me beat her mommy's ass. You ever seen a bald bitch, Cody? Well, you're going to see a bald bitch when you get home. All right, fine. Come on, Sprinkle. Dude, do you see my new pet? I love it so much! Joseph, that's a rock. Dude, I know it's a rock, but it's the coolest rock ever. Look, I don't have to feed it any food, which I can't afford, or even give it any water, which I can't afford, or buy it any toys, which I can't afford. But I can live outside with it, because I already live outside. Oh. What? Is there someone at the door, Joseph? Uh, just here, just play with your rock. Ooh, come on, Rocky, Rocky. Uh, hello? Hey, Junior. Hey, Cody, what's up? Uh, this is my sister, if you were wondering. Wait, where? Hi! Oh, hey, I didn't even see you there. Yeah, it's my sister. Oh, okay, well, um, wait, wait, you said your sister? Yeah. Uh, Cody, there's no way that's your sister. Uh, uh no, no, she, she's my stepsister. Uh, okay, Cody, I know that's, I know she's your sister, but you don't have to step on her. But no, no, Junior, Junior, I, I mean, we have two different mothers. Cody, I know your mom's huge and fat, but I don't think she's fat enough to be counted as two people. <sighs> Junior, how about I just come in and explain it? <sighs> okay. <laughs> What's wrong, Joseph? Dude, my pet rock ran away! <laughs> well, can you go cry in the bathroom? We don't want to see you cry. <laughs> okay, dude. You're so ugly when he cries. All right, Cody, what's going on? Well, my parents finally got a divorce. What, a divorce? What's that? Oh, well, a divorce is when two parents break up, but, like, officially with paperwork involved. Wait, your parents are broke up? Yeah. Do they live in separate houses or the same house? No, we all live in the same house, which is why it's so awkward. And the worst part is I have to share a bedroom with my stepsister. I think I saw a video with that title before, sharing a bedroom with your stepsister. I really like that video. Well, the cool thing about having a stepsister is you can make a lot of cool videos. Like you could say, uh, you won't believe what me and my stepsister did when my parents left. Yeah, I don't really want to make any videos with Sprinkle. Wait, her name's... Okay, dude, I think I'm done crying. <gasps> dude, who is that? <laughs> hey, Joseph, is that a rock between your legs or are you just happy to see my stepsister? <gasps> dude, I found my rock! <laughs> but who's that? Oh, uh, that's just Cody's stepsister, Sprinkle. Oh, Cody's sister's so hot, she's begging, bro! Oh, yeah, I'd smash, too. Yeah, I guess I'd smash if I were straight, but... <sighs> Not in my lifetime. Yeah, and good luck getting her, Joseph. She already turned me down. Mm. So what's the deal with this doll, dude? If you must know, he's my boyfriend. But he's a doll, dude. <gasps> dude, did you hear that? Well, yeah, she said he's a doll, dude, and you say that all the time. I know! <laughs> he's a doll, dude! <laughs> he is. Because he is a doll, dude. Yeah, he is a doll, dude! All right, you know what, guys? You can just screw off.
All right, Joseph, she's all alone. Here's your chance to ask her out. So little turtle dude, what's your name, you? Who? M me? Yes, Joseph, tell her your name. Uh, uh my, my name is Joey Joe 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 Cool. What was it, Joe Cool? Yeah, Joe Cool. cool. That, that, that's a cool name, dude. I know, I'm the coolest guy ever. And I was wondering if, uh, if you want to be my, my girlfriend, you know, we can go walk in. You trying to be my boyfriend? Uh, 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 yeah. Do you got a lot of money? Uh, yep, 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 a whole lot of money. Well, so. no, no, you don't, Joseph. Oh, he's <laughs> sick. Well, yeah, yeah, you can be my boyfriend. Oh, really? Uh -huh. well, I got a girlfriend? Oh, yeah, from a line, Joseph. You don't have a lot of money. When she finds out, she's going to leave you. I know she's not, dude. <laughs> what, what? Who's that? Uh, hold on, I'm going to answer the door. Uh, hello? Excuse me. Is my daughter Sprinkle be up in this house? Yes. Well, can you tell her ass to get the fuck down here? Because I did not give her no permission to be up in this white people house. Mm. Hmm. Uh, uh, okay, just wait right here. Okay, thank you. So when do we start kissing and holding butts? Uh... Hey, Sprinkle, your mom's at the door. She's pissed. She's like, get the fuck down here. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Joe Cool. It looks like my mama be here. So I'm going to have to go. Um, uh, I'm, I'm sad to hear that, but, um, baby, how about, uh, you, you give me a quick kiss before you go? Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, what's up? What? Up in the air. J Junior, quick, pass me that alley-oop. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Dude, why did you kiss me? Well, someone left you hanging. I had to get that slam dunk. Well, just so you know, I have a girlfriend. What? Who? Your stepsister, Cody. He asked her out and he lied and said he was rich. Now she believes him. <sighs> That's not going to last long. Unlike me, I last forever. Yeah, like Joseph, it's not going to work out. He's going to find out you're not rich and you're going to get caught. Dude, I'm cool. I'm Joe cool. <laughs> wait, wait, Junior. I, I didn't think about this. Now that Joseph has a girlfriend and I have a boyfriend, you're the only one that's single. Well, oh, yeah, dude. You're a loser. <laughs> well, no girls like me. Well, I'm telling you, Junior. You should just try being gay. It's way easier. You do all the stuff you do with a girl, but with one of your bros. It's awesome. And trust me, I could make Ken disappear if you want to, you know, get with me. I'll just wait for a girl, Cody. Well, guys, I'm out of here. I got a girlfriend. I really wish I had a girlfriend. My life sucks. Your life sucks, Junior. My parents just got a divorce. I got a whole new family in one.